Hello there, and welcome to my 100 sub special. So, uh, happy in the very early hours of the morning, happened to be the first person to duel me uh, for this, considering the fact that that was essentially what he was trying to do. Um, and he succeeded in his mission to be first, he failed in his mission to be the last, because I've got all of them recorded now. Uh, there's probably going to be about 25, somewhere around that, per vid. Um, since there's way too many for me to get into just one video without it being like a two hour effort. You, I could make a movie the size of this. So there's the, the first map with Happy Over. Um, next up I encounter a random um, who was, uh, because I was on the way to fight Happy in New Londo which is where I wanted to for a bit of change of scenery, but I forgot to lower the water and didn't notice until a lot later, so that didn't happen. Uh, now about this build, this is a new build that I've just made, so it's probably the one that's going to be predominantly seen because it's because I, I'm trying to practice with it. It uses dual straight swords, uh, silver knight longsword in the main hand, longsword in the off hand, and actually works quite well because it seems uh, that before the uh, left the offhand swing finishes. You can start chaining in the right hand one, uh, which leads to a fast combo. It's also got the Great Lord Greatsword and Cestus, and it's uh, visually designed to match that of one of my characters, Bladelust, for a video based on him on that character as well. Um, and yeah, so next up's another fight with Happy. Uh, back in the Moonlight Forest because he was running out of time so we decided it would just be best to go back here. Um, so yes, this is a medium rolling build, 56 poise, thanks to armor stacking, which technically be breaks my rule of never using anything that's uh, not obtainable naturally. However, at the same time, I've, you know, I've, the only thing that is greatly higher than the original armor I was going to use is, which was the uh, steel step, is the lightning defense, thanks to the uh, robe of the great lord. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, so uh, robe of the great lord gave it a bit of extra lightning defense. It also uh, gives it shoulder plates that match strongly the design of blade lust, so Sorry again. So yeah, so that's good. And he got me again. I think there's one more with Happy. Uh, yes. And then it's on to the main ones from Monday when I woke up, as opposed to Monday when, uh, you know, Monday when Sunday came to an end. So I try not to use the uh, uh, the straight sword and the great sword in the at the same time, uh, or at least not swing with the offhand one because the idea is the characters you know meant to do two hand two hander is just yeah I thought it was going to do a uh, switch to the red tier turns out he wasn't and he managed to get me because of that so yes the first actual duel of course this guy came along. Uh, and because and I was in the parish, and yep, Crystal Greatsword, which I strongly suspected to be a weapon name, um, of which I um, I get confirmed later. Um, so yes, and I I just couldn't help think, you know, when I actually killed him, he's got a few more souls, so he might be a bit higher level than I initially thought, but to have to use it. Be, to have to use a crystal, to, sorry, to use a weapon name to kill low-level invaders, I mean, low-level hosts, sorry, I mean, seriously? Um, so yes, this is another low-level guy, uh, in fact, that was more or less what I found in, in the parish, is uh, unless there's actually an organized fight club going on there at a time, it's ridiculously hard to actually find anybody sort of around the 125 mark. It's like, this is, I think, the only invasion I got 
and as such it's probably the only invasion where the person's around my level. And this one annoyed me a bit because I feel I could, you know, I could have beaten this guy and it was, you know, the result of lag that resulted in most of the... Yeah, well, it resulted in all of the damage. And somehow missing the backstab there. But yeah, turns out it was grave lording, and that's not something you see very often, so. Yes, uh, here's one person who I, I quite enjoyed fighting because uh, they. Yeah, they, this person didn't have you know, maximized gear. I mean, yes, they were spend a lot of time circling for the, that backstab, but for the most part, it's like they're not using... Uh, I think they're using either magic weapon or great magic weapon. I, I think it's great magic weapon. But yeah, so then, you know, they're not going for the, the best buff. They're not going for, uh, you know, the max, you know, over-leveled armor. Uh, they, they do have... I think 40 points from the wolf ring I see there, but ultimately they're not they're not going at it just for the purpose of killing the, of killing someone. Although that being said, I'm also not sure if they have the hornet ring or not. But they were a lot more interesting to fight than some of the others. Um. So yes. Uh, oh yes, Havoc Surf again. Uh, I actually turned turned around to see if he'd, uh, you know, come out and uh, try and backstab me, so I could turn around and try to parry him. Uh, but instead, what he'd actually done was he'd gone all the way around. So uh, I ended up facing him as he arrived. And somehow I kept managing to seemingly hit through his. Either I was doing that much damage, so that even when he was blocking, or I somehow seemed just to get all of my hits to go through his shield, uh, with his, well, his sword, when he was blocking, and I, I just don't get it. And this is the time where this, this fight, I'm, uh, I'm questioning a bit over whether or not I'd have died or not if this was in NG+, plus because my character, my character was edited in to have, to have this gear, and well, say, you know, and I was thinking of putting it into NG, uh, but, I'm sorry, NG, you know, plus, but I decided against it because I'd, uh, I'd be able to do some low-level PvP, well, low-level PvP, uh, PvP in the lower-level areas at first, and then later I'd go on, but, yeah, and this is why I'm just questioning whether or not the result would have been the same in NG plus. Uh, because the hollows really do no damage, and it's you know, it's difficult because at the moment I think I'd still have been able to get the kill, but uh, I'm not sure whether I'd have survived as well. And if the channel was there and buffed it, then I probably wouldn't have. Yeah, so there's no crawl again. That I didn't notice that flip the first time. How he. Sorry, how he flipped the uh, hollow away. So yeah. One other thing I've noticed with this build is that I get parried an awful lot with it. Uh, and I'd say that's probably primarily because uh, I've got used to, with faster weapons, chaining a mix of R1s and R2s. Uh, so that, you know, it keeps people guessing. So they can go for the R1 parry, they can go for the R2 parry. However, the the weapon, the, the Silver Knight straight swords, swing speeds are so similar to each other that I'm able to. I keep getting parried anyway. So yes, I was trying to get <laughs> some matches in the lower burg, and this is the only one I was able to get. Um, although it was funny to say the least. Uh, it probably ends how you how you expect it to end, uh, considering where we are. But yeah, just hit him once and get, you know, and get sent off the edge by it. So yes, uh, after that I moved on to the catacombs, and Zyos is a person I encounter a lot here. 
I was really apprehensive about fighting them up here because I didn't want to hit patches and end up having this become a 2v1, especially considering I'd then have to go and pay for, uh, what's it called, uh, Absolution. Yeah, I'd have to go and request Absolution, so. So yes, I was hoping that they'd come down. They, would, they wouldn't, so we ended up fighting up here. Uh, managed to cancel out that backstab, and I, you know, I didn't notice it was a hornet stab at that point. Uh, but yeah, that that does more ex explain this person's strategy of parry and, you know, attempt to parry and and yeah. So. He gets a parry here, I think. No. Yeah. Yes, he does. But then he misses the repose, and I think that's probably to do with the slope we we're on. Uh, but yeah. I've, I've got to be a, a lot more careful with the Silver Knight straight sword, and getting those dead angles is pretty important, considering I've been parried so many times with it. It's just ridiculous. Considering I normally, I normally pride myself on being a bit more uh, unpredictable when it comes to swing weapons, and yeah, and that goes for the Great Lord Greatsword as well. As the swing is so slow that I can't really, yeah, that one at the post really hurts. So yeah, I can't really. Um, Yeah. But yes, this was the case where he invaded me again, and I'd forgotten to kill the skeletons, so... I ended up getting ganked by an army of skeletons as well as him, so... And this... I'd have easily have died by now if it was an NG... NG+. Plus. But yeah. I took my chances, and... Still. Yes, I have had quite some fun with this build, though, but... On a lot of occasions, I have ended up going to parry, uh, and ended up attacking instead. I've got a great sword in my hand. Uh, I forget and block because it can't parry. Here I should probably heal, uh, since, yeah, I, I, I should have healed there, but I thought that since they were on low health, I'd be able to finish them off. But I missed, and then I missed that. And then I die. So all and all in a day in, in the catacombs. So yeah. Um, against Zeos again. This time I invaded him. I'm assuming he's not killed the skeletons either. Because he was very insistent that we fought in here. Um, so he didn't want to make that same mistake. Uh, as you can see... Attempting to go and get those parries a lot. Uh, you know, when... And, and me just trying my best not to get parried by him. While still being able to get in the attack. And there, that... That was fortunate because he went for the backstab. Uh, and missed it. Because I'd already turned around and attacked. And because he'd gone for the backstab, he'd uh, left him open. So that was a, a, a nice finish there. So he invaded again. This time I had had killed the skeletons. So yeah. Uh. I went for a third swing there because I. On so many occasions, I'd only do two. I thought he would. There, there would be no chance he'd be expecting the third, but he was. And then he goes circles for that backstab and gets dead angled by himself, which I always find funny. It's, I, I just find it classic when you know people just circle with their shield up and then they end up getting themselves dead angled to death. So, yeah, switch to the uh, Great Lord Greatsword. Uh, because I, I can normally dead angle it a bit easier, has a bit more range and a bit more shield break, and at this point I was expecting him to parry, but I guess he was being incredibly cautious, and I was just sort of hoping that I'd break his shield long enough for me to be able to counter it. 
Yeah. So it seemed like actually the best way to to beat him in a lot of cases was to expose my back and then just turn around before he had a chance to finish his attack. So yes, I actually said uh, at that point if I invaded Dios uh, again, I'd probably move on to the next area. But until I encountered this guy, and I, considering all things considered, I got destroyed by that ultra great sword. It was just, yeah. So I, I completely screwed everything. Everything that I could have gone wrong did. Um, you know, I was missing the parries. I was, uh, you know, leaving myself open. I wasn't f attempting to go for the reverse rolls and instead just settling for dodging. And yeah, and then you know, get out of the way and fall right right off the cliff as I try to retreat to heal. Although what amuses me though is apparently Leroy was summoned because uh, just after that he came and landed on me and I, I thought this person was the same person when I first encountered them just because they were also wearing that, uh, that armor and in all honesty this yeah it it was a divine blessings galore and I decided to switch to the uh, great or great sword because it managed to break through po poison a lot more effectively, and I got to hit by a lot of those soul masses. Uh, this, I just had, you know, I was so intent on getting in a backstab to finish them off before they had a chance to use another divine blessing. I just tried, you know, ignoring the soul masses. Yeah. Um, I think they were probably trying to catch me off guard at that point uh, using those soul spears instead of soul masses but didn't particularly work and here this was ridiculously lucky but I managed to get that swipe in just before the heal went off so yeah and after this this is when I began a massive and this is definitely a mistake here I, I went to the arena and I did it here, and it was probably not a good idea for this, because I'm counting one duel as a fight, as opposed to uh, uh, every single death as a, a fight. So, it, you know, it's three minutes per duel, and I never encountered this one guy. So, and whilst it started off well, it just got gradually worse and worse, and if I, there's just not much to talk about. There's not much to talk about about the fights. It's, you know, pretty simple. You know, guy flipping me with an ultra great sword, trying to get in. And fortunately, that was the only time that the lag really affected us. So, um, so yes. So, yeah, I have absolutely no clue what to say with these fights. So. I'll probably stop doing commentary and let you watch. I'll, I'll just say that thing. So, essentially, you know, the original fight I was winning well because uh, I was able to change stuff like this with the ultra great sword, with an ultra great sword. Um, you know, mixing up my R1s and R2s, and you know, just trying to get the timing right to throw them off so that I'd be able to get the the hits in. But uh, near the last few matches, he began winning because he just, you know, he got to that conclusion where all he had to do, and this was actually true, was all he had to do was dodge my attacks, poke, and then flip away. Because, you know, he'd have he'd have the time to do that. He'd be able to do that, and he'd be able to get away safely. So, I think if I ever do one of these subscriber things again, uh with a bunch of matches. If I'm going to do anything in the arena, I'm going to do a death match or team arena with four people at once. Just Yeah, and although it's six minutes as opposed to to three, it's you know quite a bit more interesting than fighting one guy in an area like this using the same build every time. And I think like the only thing he changed was he went from using a katana to using a rapier. 
So yeah. So I shall leave you with this and I'll be back for the final fight with this guy and maybe the uh yeah, so just the last last couple of uh fights after this for this first part. Punished this guy a lot when he tried buffing in the open because yeah. Because in the arena you can buff as soon as you land, you can even land weapon buffs before you've left the thing if you've got everything set up. But try buffing in the middle of the fight and yeah, I'm gonna punish you. If yeah, if I get the chance. So if you're able to get the buff on and before I get the chance to, then yeah, go ahead.
Okay, so the last two fights uh, are in the kiln for this video, and the starting ones from the next video will also be in the kiln. Now, this fight here was definitely the, one of my more interesting ones, and if this guy was going for the boss, then more power to him, and if he was actually PvPing here like this, then even more power to him, because if it wasn't for the latency, whereas, you know, getting hit way before the spread got, got to me, so I just was mistiming my rolls through it, this would have definitely have been one of my most interesting fights in the kiln, because it's just the perfect place to do this. It's like you've got these thin walkways and you can you can just do that and it was fun. And so yes, here's the last fight with the wolf, for this one with the Wolf 5000 and I think I was quite surprised when I came to the kiln because people at the kiln now are a lot better than the last time I was here. They were a lot more interesting to fight, they were winning a lot more more and there was a lot more variety than just you know, giant great shield turtling, or black magic spamming, although there was still some of that. So yeah. Um, so I shall leave you now, even though I only just got back technically, considering the uh, stop for the arena fight, and I shall see you next time.